Hi again guys, I'm back for another video. In our last video we did Old Forest and Lake of Nur and we were going to move on to the other tier 2 dungeons. Uh, I think in the future I'm going to have to save Old Forest until after I've done the maze and um, the sandworm layer because it, with, with, it it seems that the horror rate has spawned, or the horror spawn rate has increased there. I don't know if that's actually the case or if I'm just getting an Anixia deep breaths more syndrome but um, it just feels like it would be a lot safer to do it later on rather than um, rush with it so I'm just gonna hold off in the future and instead what we're gonna do in future videos if I do any more tome videos after this which I probably will um, is that we'll stick to stuff that we know is gonna be a little bit on the easier side like the maze where it's always consistently you know physical damage and what have you Or the sandworm layer, where the most dangerous enemy is always the walls. get as a ring there. Damage from wielders hit. Increases 25% resistance. That's actually pretty good. We'll uh, take off our current ring and replace that with this. Since we do so much arcane damage um, with our shield bashes and what have you, arcane resistance's penetration is pretty nice. Not that most enemies have any of that to begin with, but I also like the mana regen, since it lets us regen when we rest. Impenetrable Dwarven Steel Plate Armor. Not enough strength to wear it, that sucks. Spirit Walker's Rough Leather Belt of Unlife. Increases our mana regen, treat it as undead. I'll hold on to that for when we do the uh, maybe the sandworm layer or uh, at least the underwater dungeons. Humming Mind Star. Is that new? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Great Caller. Okay, I don't think that's new. That's a Summoner Mind Star, but that's interesting. I think the crystalline half is a little bit too dangerous to the uh, to the player, so I think I'm going to suggest some feedback on the forums about that. Like with necromancers, they have a couple of dangerous summons, but it's not too dangerous because even though they can do a lot of damage to you, they're only a small portion of your summons, but in this case, it's, it's literally half of what I'm going to have out at any given time. And if it's hitting me with all of its damage dealing abilities, that's not super useful. We get anything else here? I'm going to hold on to this until I can get some more strength. Otherwise, I think we're safe to get rid of the rest of this. feel a little more more fragile than I would have expected, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if things are just doing more damage in this difficulty or what, but, or not in this difficulty, but in um, this patch. Okay. 
the confusion is just always obnoxious. Ugh. Ugh. No good loot off the boss. Increased arcane damage might be okay on this character. I don't, uh, I'll use it over the steel ring I found. I was really hoping to get the Helm of Garkul off of him. We could use those extra stats. Oh, hey, sweet. Boss. Hopefully it's something good. Alright, of course not, no, it's an unblemished Elvenwood Vile Staff. And we are not playing a Staff Wielder this time, so no. What a shame. What I was really hoping for was a shield. Savior's Steel Amulet of Murder. Some Crit Multiplier. Probably actually more useful. Well, no, because the physical resistance penetration is probably going to be better for us. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot in here that I'm necessarily going to want either. Steel Shield of Harmony. Just less than thrilled with our findings here. Hopefully the Sandworm Lair will have more useful stuff for us, but that was a very disappointing maze. And somehow, Eldritch Infusion got turned off again. Did I somehow put on another Arcane Disrupting item at some point and not realize it? What the heck keeps knocking that off? Yeah, I don't have anything that's arcane disrupting, and yet it keeps getting shut off. I don't understand. Is there some effect on here that I'm just not noticing? No, it's... I guess if I run out of mana, I just don't see how I'm running out of mana with 330 mana points. I'm so confused. Well, that time I actually turned it off. Um... Now we start getting our save boost talent. Oh. Ouch. What is this effect? Stone Link. Ah, oh, the target is protected by Stone Half, redirecting all damage to it. That's pretty nice. That'll make it so Crystal and Mistles actually hits the Stone Half instead. I wonder if that's why we have that or what. Um, that was a bit of a stupid risk there.
Ow. Oh. Oh, gog. Shoot. Ouch. Yeah, that was all rough. I'm gonna have to keep it. Oh, I got a teleport run. Okay. Time to buy a new rune anyway. Let's see. What can I take off my bar? Gonna have to add a second bar pretty soon here. I'm really running out of space for new abilities. Alright. I think that'll about do us for the entire floor, so now we just gotta get to the exit. Well, that's not the right way to the exit. Here we go. Nothing too great on this floor, unfortunately. Though, I want to check something real quick. It would be awfully nice. No, sadly not. Crystal Focus cannot be used on shields as of yet. That's another thing I'm going to need to suggest. something, uh, a shield with a decent ego on it. Alright. Nice acid damage on that shield. And we're encumbered. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's see here. What can we get rid of? I think that slime was a rampager. Ooh. Oh, come on, it's right down there. There we go. Probably should have taken that willpower shielding rune, but I don't know if I'm going to be using them long term anyway, so... Given that we're not an Aegis, um... having class. just leveled up, so I'll take care of that in a moment. Get that last ability there. Now I'm going to have to start using these 
these vines, or at least figuring out how to use them. The 50% movement speed reduction kind of sucks. If I could find enough items to overcome that, I could just run around with it on all the time, though, which would be awesome. Just an AoE pin uh, everywhere I went. through this place is just so tedious. I think that's everything on the floor. I could be missing something, but I do not feel like hunting it down. Alright, let's see how we do against the Sandworm Queen. Shouldn't be too hard since she mostly does physical damage. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was not in any condition to fight her like that. In the middle of a tunnel. So, stone vines. Does that just increase my equilibrium every turn? Oh, no, that was because I had the shield on. I forgot. And then, bam, full mana. I love I love that. That is just incredible. Right, let's take a look at what we got. Just the heart of the Sandworm Queen. Oh. Love that free level up. So this is basically, it roots everything in range, increases equilibrium and mana, gives you a charge that heals you and a pull that damages your target. But by the looks of it, you can get away with putting only one point in everything. Um, Stone Vines looks like it's worth maxing, but the other three points look like they're basically one-point wonders. This one might be worth putting more points into, if only because of the, uh, the life increase, but this talent increases the range of both of these other two talents, and Really, the only reason to, to, to level a rush ability like that is to get your range out farther. Um, I feel like maybe that could use some work. Because as it is, I don't really see any point, in, a huge point in investment. It's the same thing with down here. These two abilities look like they're one-pointers. Do I want to point these points into? I just don't know. Keep leveling that shield effect. I mean, it scales with willpower, and I'm eventually going to max it, so it's probably going to be a pretty good shield when it's maxed out. Oh, no, I want to put that in there. There we go. Can't tell if that's oh rune covered steel shield. That's a that's a it's a randart or is it a rare? I suppose it could be a rare. Now I've got to know what's in there. Oh, it's a rare. Let's take a look. Doesn't seem to do a whole yeah. It doesn't give any additional damage or anything. It's just kind of a crappy item. It'll sell for a lot.
given what level our character is at this point. Um, money translates into saves, so finding a lot of money is actually an upgrade for us. <coughs> My god. I forgot to turn off the vine thing. That could have been very fatal. What should we do as our next dungeon? I could skip right ahead to Daikara, and uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to just skip just what I'm going to do. Get that out of the way, and then we'll move on and do the bonus dungeons after level 20. I hate doing Ruined Dungeon before level 20. take care of that first. Randart boss is a uh, opportunity for a Randart item, so... Oop, Blade Horror. With Thermal or uh, So it's a Wormick and a Mind Slayer. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! That was a little, little brutal. Wow. Wow, what the hell. That's the end of this character. That's unfortunate, but this guy's just kind of unbeatable for us. Damage reflect. Oh my god, just from his damage shields. That was what killed me. Jesus Christ. Alright, my next video series, because I said I was going to do it earlier, I'm going to start up a necromancer character, and we're going to go with that. I'd like to play around with Stone Warden more, but I think I'm going to actually learn how to play the class before I, uh, before I do any more videos with them. Um, it's been a nice exploration of the new class and everything, but geez, there's some things that need some work, and there's some things that I just need to figure out. I know they're winnable, somebody on SA did it, but geez, man, that was brutal. I'm wondering if the Mind Slayer War has got buffed, because... I've never taken that much damage from a Mind Slayer before. It could have also just been its Wormic abilities. I wasn't I wasn't able to figure out what the hell was killing me that fast, but like even the chat log or the message log doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Well, I mean they're hitting really hard with lots of different damage types. 90, 128. Yeah, and then every time I attacked it, I was taking 50 damage. Just all adds up. And since I have so many multi-hit abilities, it was just... I I take 50 or 60 damage from it, and then it deals 100 to me, and it's melee attack. Plus it's a Mind Slayer, so it's probably using Conduits. It's actually probably doing about 200 damage just around here. I, that's a nasty combo to get. That's a really nasty combo. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching.